Cheers! So the question is, wine during pregnancy or not? Mm. Mm. Throughout the majority of your pregnancy, no. But as you are getting close to your labor, as you are maybe starting to think that you should be going into labor, maybe you're approaching your due date, maybe you're overdue, a glass of wine is incredibly helpful for you. And here's why. I talk in my webinar about how stress hormones inhibit your labor hormones. Your body doesn't understand the difference between the stress of a saber-toothed tiger chasing you and the stress of going overdue. It doesn't matter what the source of the stress is, your body responds physiologically the exact same way. And so if you are a few days overdue, you kind of were expecting to have your baby by now, you're getting a little bit worried, your doctor's putting some pressure on you, a glass of wine is the answer. And the reason is because it's going to help you calm down. It's going to help you to relax. It's gonna help you to release any resistance and just be in the moment and enjoy your hot bath or enjoy your nice dinner with your partner or enjoy a good movie or just sit and enjoy the glass of wine itself. If you are needing to just relax and stop being so wound up, that wound up, tense, anxious, where's my labor, where's my labor, where's my labor vibe, is not an easy breezy mellow fall into labor kind of vibe you got to be over here in order to fall into labor if you look this i want to go into labor right now <laughs> that's not going to put you into labor it's going to work against you the other great thing about a glass of wine especially when shared with your partner is that it can open up the floodgates for oxytocin for bonding for closeness, for intimacy. These things are all really great in kind of moving the needle towards putting you into labor. We've talked lots of times about how important oxytocin is to have lots of oxytocin pumping through your system to put you into labor and also to keep your labor going. And so having a glass of wine, having dim lights, having a nice dinner, maybe a foot rub, a nice conversation, all of these things are going to boost your oxytocin. They're gonna increase that bonding that is really so special right before baby comes. It's only the two of you for only a few more days. So just relax and enjoy and make it something special. And even if you don't go into labor that night, don't get back over here in the tent zone. I wanna go into labor. Don't go there. Try to ride that wave of the mellow relaxation that the wine brought about. Now, am I recommending a glass of wine every single night? No, I don't, I don't know if that's really necessary, but if you're feeling particularly anxious, if you're feeling like labor might be close, and you just wanna kinda of tip yourself over that edge, a glass of wine is a really nice idea. That's probably torture for all my pregnant friends. I'm so sorry. See, I've had three sips and I'm already feeling warm. I'm already feeling loose. I'm already feeling giggly. I, I'm already ready to go into labor. So if you're near the end of your pregnancy, you're dying for a glass of wine, you're dying to go into labor, you're feeling like this pregnancy might, might never end. Feel free to enjoy a glass of wine. You have permission. I'm sure your midwife or your OB would also give you the green light. I'm not saying have a bottle of wine. I'm saying have a glass of wine. The amount of wine that baby is going to get is minuscule. The benefits that it will bring to you and to how hopefully potentially inching you a little bit closer towards labor is invaluable. So guys, that's all I want to tell you about drinking wine in labor. So good. I want you to birth boldly and love your labor almost as much as I love this wine. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Brown Nerds Baby Talk.